Hey, yo, my name is Father Mike Schneer. I'm pastor of St. Joseph Catholic Church in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. So I know times are getting tough for a lot of people in the Sioux, and at my parish, we want to make sure everyone's needs are being met. So this video is for anyone who might be short on groceries, and also for anyone who might be willing to help us out uh, in our mission to make sure that no one goes short on groceries. Um, so first, if, if you're in need of food, know that we have a food pantry that we run here. It's open every Tuesday afternoon at 2 p.m. Uh, we'd be happy to help you out. We want to look out for you. And um, so we're open at two o'clock every Tuesday. We're located at 606 East 4th Avenue. And so you know, there are also several other food pantries in town, which I'll show on the screen here. And I'll put this info in the description below as well. Uh, there's a food pantry at First Church of Christ. United Presbyterian, uh, Salvation Army, uh, and uh, if you know of any others in our area, please leave info in the comments. Uh, I feel like we've got a good team effort going on. So the next thing, if you might be willing to help support the effort to ensure that no one goes short on food in the Sioux, we could really use a hand. I encourage you to support any of the food pantries that I've listed. They're all excellent efforts and outreaches. If you would like to support the food pantry that we run through St. Joseph's, I've included a link in the description below. Uh, we would be really grateful for your help and for your partnership in this mission. We really wanted our efforts in this area to be stable and long lasting. So we've actually started an endowment fund dedicated to the sole purpose of funding our food pantry. Our goal with the fund is to be able to purchase higher quality foods, uh, to be able to buy locally. And uh, because Save a Lot closed and because of inflation, our, our costs have gone up. Our hope is also to be able to afford to do things like put together care packages for folks as they graduate from their programs through Great Lakes Recovery Center, to be able to help people through CareNet in a similar way, uh, to be able to afford emergency hotel vouchers, at least occasionally to be able to host meals for people in need, and um, also, uh, and most of all, just to be able to keep up with higher demand if, if times get tougher. So any funds that are donated are restricted for the sole purpose of helping people through the food pantry. So you can be assured that the purpose I've described is the only reason for which monies from this fund will be spent. And because the principal will remain perpetually untouched, that means that the impact of your gift will be long lasting. You know, in a city that's more than three and a half centuries old, it makes sense for us to have a long-term plan. The Sioux will always be here. Parishioners of my parish have already contributed $40,000 to start the fund. Uh, but we won't be able to start receiving distributions until the fund reaches $50,000. So our initial goal is to raise 10,000. So if you're able to help us reach our goal, uh, you can click on the link to contribute. I'd be really grateful for your help. Uh, and I'd be really thankful if you could repost this video. So thank you so much and God bless you. I love you, Sault Ste. Marie.